Today, on the 4th of April 2009, was the first outdoor flea market this year. Really nice. And, well, I got some vinyl. You can see it's right there. Um, because it um, has to dry off, because when I got it was kind of wet for some reason. Maybe it came out of a basement or something. Well, we got a nice hotel. Um, the Pet Shop Boys, Domino Dancing, mm, really nice song, something from Germany, Viel Farben, 33 Tage in Ketten, um, I have this on a cassette, then a sampler, Miami Vice 3, I don't uh, know what Miami Vice is, I have never seen a, you know, I have never seen that in television or something like that, but I like the music they are playing, um, because I listened to a radio program some time ago where they were playing the Miami Vice music. So, on this sampler we have, uh, Sheena Easton, The Hooters, Stray Cats, Yellow, Jan Hammer, of course, um, Don Hanley, James Brown, Mitch Ryder, and the Detroit Wheels. Well, let's see what we have next. Um, Magic Age. Meditation, Relaxation, Fantasy, New Age. It's a sampler. I don't know anybody of these artists, but I do know that I like New Age music, and so I got this. Well, another one from Germany. Extra Breit. Ihre größten Erfolge. Um, this is actually a really funny name for, an, for this album. Ihre größten Erfolge means their greatest hits. And that's well, that's a funny name, because this is actually their first album they ever made. So, well. And, uh, well, finally, we have uh, Nucleus, Gem on Revenge, the Vicky Vicky song. <laughs> that's a really nice cover. I like that um, skyline. And... Um, I don't know this song, but I know Nucleus. I have a song um, of them recorded on a cassette from the radio. And so, well, maybe this is also a really nice song. Well, and then I got, which is really, really unusual, tapes. I got these really, really small tapes. You can see these very very small tapes of course made by the BASF um, maybe from the early 60s these little tapes will fit into my national 401S portable reel-to-reel -reel, which is really nice so I got two of these very small ones then um, the big reels, one by Agfa, model PE31, long play, and then another one by the BASF, and this is really a super old uh, tape, and I already tried it, and it seems to be still good. Um, right here, you can see, previous owner um, wrote it on here. This tape was recorded on the 14th um, March of 1956. Unbelievable. And the tape seems to be good still. You can take it out. As you can see, I haven't played it yet, but I... Um, you know, I had it in the fast-forward mode to find out if 
there is dust on there or something like that. The Akfa tape is a little bit dusty, but it, not too bad. Well, and then I got some tape accessories. I got this little splicing tape by the BASF. Still good. Then another um, a splicing set, which of course also contains a roll of splicing tape, which is really nice. If you put on the back side of this box, you have this, um, there you can see it, um, a, um, some kind of trace where you put in the tape and then it's really easy to splice it. And then I got uh, starting tape by Akfa, also really nice, of the early 60s. Um, this one is green. And this, which is, it's really, really much starting tape. You know, starting tape is the tape, uh, the plastic tape um, at the start and the end of the tape. Um, this one is green. This one is white. You can maybe take a look on the white. Uh, come out. There you have it. The white starting tape. Oh! And it comes off. <laughs> anyway, I'll have to put that back in there. So, but, well, this was a really successful day at the flea market. And, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.